Doctors in Estonia were performing a routine brain scan on a very elderly patient in 2016. When the brain scan was being performed, the patient had a fatal heart attack and died on the table. Thus, the doctors managed to accidentally capture the brain scan of a dying human being for the first time. The findings were kind of surprising. For about a minute, 30 seconds before his heart stopped and for 30 seconds after, the brain scans were very very similar to what they are like during memory recall, meditation and dreaming. So turns out it is actually quite likely true that people see their life flash before their eyes when they die. In this video, we'll look at what these brain scans show exactly, how brain activity is measured, how the researchers concluded what they did, and why people generally think that our lives seem to flash before our eyes when we die. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The patient who died when his brain was being scanned was a Canadian man, 87 years of age. He had epilepsy and was undergoing regular EEGs to detect unusual electrical activity in his brain. Doctors and scientists at that time were scanning his brain during a seizure to understand what happens to the human brain during seizure episodes. During the EEG, the patient had a very sudden and fatal heart attack and died immediately. In the process, the team ended up accidentally with the first complete scan of the human brain as it was dying. They captured a total of 900 seconds of brain activity in that scan and they were specifically able to see changes 30 seconds before and after the patient's heart stopped beating. Brain activity is measured with brain waves. What we commonly call brain waves are brain oscillations or neural oscillations. These are patterns in rhythmic brain activity that involve firing neurons. We've known about different waves in our brain for almost a hundred years now, but we don't fully understand this oscillatory activity in our brains entirely. There are five main kinds of activities that produce waves of corresponding frequencies alpha beta gamma delta and theta alpha waves are in the frequency of 8 to 12 hertz they are observed when someone is awake but very relaxed the person can close their eyes and be calm but won't fall asleep in that state of mind these alpha waves are active when the brain is working on coordination and communication as well or engaging in a creative process Alpha waves start to go down when a person starts to feel sleepy, but they're active when a person is in REM sleep. REM sleep is when a person's eyes are moving very rapidly when they're dreaming. The brain is more active and firing neurons rapidly, resetting connections and memories, and people who are woken up from REM sleep can remember their dreams very vividly and in detail. Beta waves are in the frequency of 12.5 to 30 hertz and these are associated with normal wakefulness when a person is active, busy or anxious. These waves dominate when a person has a lot of anxiety and are feeling anxious at the moment. They are also very active when a person is thinking and concentrating and when the brain is most active. Gamma waves are in the frequency range of 25 to 140 hertz and are associated with cognitive processes in the brain like working memory, attention and also mood. Gamma waves are most active when a person is extremely focused on a task. This area in the brain where they originate can be stimulated and gamma waves can also increase in amplitude with meditation. Within the gamma waves range, Particularly fascinating is the 40 Hz gamma wave frequency. Oscillations at this frequency are thought to be associated with coherence and mental clarity, being able to distinguish between wakefulness and sleep, and being able to pay attention to sensory input and be aware of a person's surroundings. Basically, the 40 Hz gamma waves are associated with our consciousness. These gamma waves are heightened during visual stimulation as well. Then there's delta waves. 
These are high amplitude waves oscillating in the frequency range of 0.5 to 4 hertz. They are associated with deep sleep. Delta wave activity allows for the release of many hormones that are beneficial to our bodies, primarily the growth hormone which supports our metabolism. Across mammal species, biological females tend to have more delta activity after adulthood in their brains than males do. Then there's theta waves. These are of two kinds depending on where they originate in the brain. They oscillate in the frequencies ranging between 4 and 7 hertz and they are associated with memory formation, learning new skills and motor processing, deep single cognitive processes, tracking location spatially and so on. Meditation can also increase theta wave amplitude. We saw that gamma waves are associated with consciousness, focus and memory. Within the range of gamma waves, in the specific range of 30 to 100 hertz, gamma waves are generated rapidly when a person tries to remember things. Whenever this database is accessed, gamma waves go off. This can be observed even in the brain scans of people who are dreaming. What the researchers saw in the dying man's brain scan was a lot of gamma activity in the frequencies that indicated memory retrieval. Scientists have previously scanned dying people's brains but only partly. This was the first complete finding so far and it has indicated that people were in fact remembering things just before they died. It is long thought that dying people relive their lives and play out key memories from their life just before they die. There's of course no hard evidence for this, but we know this anecdotally from many people who have suffered near-death experiences. These are people who have almost died but didn't. And it's not one or two people, the experience seems to be quite common and universal along with things like experiencing tunnel-like vision because the brain starts to withdraw blood supply and divert it to vital organs. Their lives flashing before their eyes has been reported by many people who have been resuscitated or in fact even women who have almost died during childbirth. There are some caveats that accompany the study. The authors have added these in the paper. The patient had had hemorrhage and seizures which are known to affect rhythmic brain activity. When the brain is deprived of oxygen, like when a person dies, cells go through a brief period of extreme activity which can generate patterns in brain signals. The patient was also on a lot of medication which could interfere with brain activity directly or cause physiological effects that could in turn interfere with brain activity. Lastly, the patient was being scanned to understand a seizure, so there was no baseline data to compare with in the first place before the patient died. This observation was made back in 2016, six years ago, but the scientists waited for six years to publish because they wanted to replicate the findings, but they have so far been unable to obtain a complete scan of the brain just as a person was dying. Despite all of this, there is a lot of similarity between what the researchers have seen here in this brain scan and what experimental controlled rodent studies have shown. So, it is quite possible that we live up to the stereotype after all and that when we die, our life flashes in front of our eyes. As a consolation to the living, a dying person may actually be experiencing their best memories moments before their death. <laughs>